643 right now. We are verifying claims making the rounds on social media every single day for you. And many posts question the accuracy of COVID rapid tests. So is it ever too early or too late to take one? Evan Kosloff verifies. The Verify team is all about stopping misinformation in its tracks. And during this pandemic, we've been busy. Over the past year, our Verify team has talked with dozens of infectious disease scientists and physicians to get you answers. Today, we're talking about antigen tests, sometimes referred to as rapid tests. We're answering, if you take one too early or too late after getting exposed, could you get a false negative? Our sources here are the FDA, the CDC, the testing companies themselves, and Dr. Stuart Ray at Johns Hopkins. Let's start back in May when the FDA first issued emergency use authorizations for antigen tests. They warned back then about false negatives because these tests are less sensitive than the PCR tests. That means that antigen tests work best when you're at the height of your illness, but not as well at the front or the end. The test is not perfect at both ends of that time interval. The antigen tests will take longer to become positive and they'll uh, turn negative sooner because that peak of virus level uh, will go above threshold for the antigen test too, but at a different level. The CDC agrees, writing, quote, the antigen level in specimens collected either before symptom onset or late in the course of infection may be below the limit of detection of virus of the test. According to documents on the FDA's website, even the companies that make the test note that false negatives are possible if you get tested too many days after symptoms start. So yeah, an antigen test can lead to a false negative if you take it too early or too late from when you first get exposed. Now this is a super complicated topic and there's a lot more to cover. And if you see a post online that you want us to verify, send an email to verify at 11alive.com.